I'll talk about my background briefly. Uh, born Jewish, uh, grew up going to Hebrew school, uh, bar mitzvah at 13, atheist at 14. I read uh, Sigmund Freud's The Future of an Illusion and decided that man invented God. And I read H.G. Wells' uh, History of the World and decided that material is all there is, never was, and that we are evolving to a higher state. Uh, with no need to have any formulation like God involved in the process. So atheism as a teenager uh, started moving to the left politically from the, my parents' liberalism, uh, went to Yale, got involved in anti-war demonstrations and lots of other things, and kept moving further and further to the left, graduated from there in 1971, bicycled across the country, became a reporter in Oregon, left that job after half a year to protest the capitalist oppression of the publisher, who was a very nice guy, and joined the Communist Party USA, the Oregon chapter of the Communist Party USA, which was not very large. But there was one genuine proletarian in it. He was known as the man who fixes cars. Uh, and all the rest of us were sort of spoiled bourgeois kids. Was in the Communist Party, traveled across the Pacific on a Soviet freighter, went across the Soviet Union, learned Russian to speak to my Soviet big brothers, worked in the Boston Globe again, had done a little bit of that in college, worked in the Globe again as a, as a communist, and uh, the editors liked my stuff very much. Went to the University of Michigan in the fall of 1973 to graduate school, and there, much to the horror of my professors, I, through God's grace, purely, uh, came to have some sense of him. Uh, and it started with just a, a strong sense that in fact there is a God uh, and therefore my communism that was based on atheism was not legitimate. And so I left the Communist Party, tried to ignore important questions and God kept bringing them to my attention in strange ways. Uh, I had to have a really good reading knowledge of a foreign language to get a PhD. The language I had been studying was Russian and uh, I started reading one night just for practice and reading Russian the one book in my room that I hadn't, that it was in Russian that I had not read. It was a copy of the New Testament in Russian that had been given me a couple of years before. I'd held on to it as a souvenir and then reading very, very slowly and painfully. My knowledge of Russian wasn't very good, but I can see in retrospect with the Holy Spirit working, uh, it made sense to me. I thought this is, this is better than Tolstoy. This is something special. This is something from God. Uh, that didn't make me a Christian, though. I mean, I was, I was fighting it all the way, especially coming from my Jewish background and having grown up believing that Christians worship Christmas trees and are rather silly people. Uh, here's, here's how I, I ventured into Calvinism. I, had, I was assigned to teach a course in early American literature. Well, what's early American literature? Puritan preachers. So it was really Jonathan Edwards and Increase Mather and John Cotton and other folks who, uh, these dead white males from three plus centuries ago were preaching to me. And uh, they had a big influence on me. And this process continued over two and a half years and slowly, grudgingly, purely through God's grace, uh, came to believe in fact that he is and therefore I have certain obligations and pleasures that he provides and I should actually uh, start confessing what I'd come to believe and finally did so in 1976. Uh, eventually uh, joined uh, uh, Reformed churches, read more of Calvin, uh, Calvin's Institutes, I, uh, and lots of other stuff and uh, have been in Reformed churches ever since. So briefly that's how I came to Christ. The larger story in some ways is, is what I've learned since becoming a Christian since I uh, was very poorly informed and, and still am, but have learned something over the years. And uh, I think through God's grace, been able to put some of that into practice with World Magazine, with teaching, with other things. And so I am very grateful to God because I can see what I was earlier in life. And, and I'm a little better now, at least my wife would say so. Uh, and any decency I have is purely owed to Christ. And, Christ Christ.